Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. I am an independent contractor and trainer. In this episode, I am going to mention C++11's standard IOTA, which I can honestly say I have never found a use for. It is a pretty straightforward um, tool that initializes a container with a bunch of incrementing values. So we're going to include our algorithm and we're going to include array. So let's say we have an array of integers, 10 of them perhaps, and we're just going to call this our array A, and we want to initialize it with the values 0 through 9. That is what standard IOTA gives us. And we have to give it an initial value. And this is one of the tricky algorithms, in my opinion, that is in the numeric header, not in the algorithm header. So now we have initialized our array with the values 0 through 9, and if we were to return a dot back, last value should be 9, that gets returned. Let's turn our optimizations back on so that we can actually see all this having been folded down at compile time. So we can see 9 is being returned here, and that's exactly what we expected to happen. And if we start it with the value 10, we should see 19 being returned. 19 is returned. So that's standard IOTA, pretty straightforward. But we also have an algorithm in C++ 98, it's been around since the beginning of time, called a standard generate. And standard generate combined with our stateful lambdas that I like to talk about here can give us the same and quite a bit more. So if we want to capture our initial value, like this, and create our mutable stateful lambda, and then just return i++, then we can use our lambda to do the exact same thing that we were doing before. Now we're getting value 9, and if we initialize our capture value with 10, we're getting 19, and the compiler can optimize this exactly the same, possibly even better, I'm not entirely sure. Turn off optimizations, well, it's hard to say, we didn't do a comparison before. But let's keep uh, at least some optimizations on, see what it takes here. It doesn't take an awful lot. That is still generating a loop at 01, but we'll, we'll leave it on 03. So we have the flexibility to not just do a s integer sequence like we did with IOTA. We could do uh, pretty much anything else. We can do a, let's start it at 10 and, you know, assign it equal, plus equal to 2 each time. So that's I'm going to increment by the value of 2. So, and we can do it on multiple lines so that we get a little bit. So let's just say we can do much more complicated things like incrementing by 2 or incrementing by whatever. Well, that's going to return 0, because 0 times 2, no matter how many times you do it, is still 0. But there you have it. This is um, our standard IOTA added in C++11, and how we can do much more interesting and complicated things with standard to generate from C++98, but taking advantage of our stateful lambdas that C++14 allows. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.